The frustrating search for a family doctor is at the root of a growing number of complaints by patients. A new report by the province's health care watchdog highlights what is unfortunately a very common problem. People are struggling to find doctors and having to rely on emergency departments. We've got two, two sectors that are both uh, facing tremendous challenges, pressures around health human resources, um, and one sending patients to the other because they haven't got uh, access. And so you're really getting a bit of a perfect storm. The patient ombudsman received more than 4,000 complaints last year, the highest number to date. What's troubling, the report notes, is the hundreds of complaints from Ontarians with no access to primary care and nowhere else to turn with their concerns. Patients detailed difficulty connecting with physicians' offices, booking appointments, and delayed care. In one community, people without family doctors reported being sent to the hospital for medication refills. Patients absolutely are desperate. Dr. Tara Karen's Toronto practice is flooded with calls every day. We see people lining up for walk-in clinics, driving long hours for walk-in clinics, going to the eMERGE for things that don't aren't needed, having to pay out of pocket, going to virtual care, but the virtual care provider not being able to see them in person. So lots of people who are trying different things but ultimately aren't getting what it is that they need. It's estimated more than 2 million Ontarians don't have their own practitioner and that number could grow to 4 million by 2026. We are going to pay the price, literally pay the price, uh, if we don't address that urgently. This government is sitting on a massive contingency fund for a rainy day. Well, the rainy day is here right now. A spokesperson for the health minister says the government has invested $30 million this year to expand primary care teams in communities that need it the most. But the ripple effect is already dire. In another complaint, a patient brought to the emergency room with symptoms of a heart attack was told by the triage nurse there were 10 other people in the waiting room who could also be having a heart attack and they needed to wait their turn. People have left the ED um, because they didn't feel that they were, they were getting uh, treated properly. So that's very concerning on any level. Uh, and it really should not be something that be happening in, in Ontario's healthcare system. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.